everyone welcome back this will hopefully be a quick little video I have a request um, for some coasters and um, sometimes custom requests are difficult because you want to kind of put the colors that someone has in mind um, in action and get the result that they're looking for but you know how fluid art is you can't always control the result very well so um, I'm gonna give it a shot and see if I can't get the right color um, scheme. So I figured I would just film it and share it with you guys. It's been a while since I've actually done coasters um, and I really kind of need to do some um, to kind of restock my Etsy store. So I may be doing some with you guys and using up some paint that I have mixed up, but hopefully you enjoy my color experiment. So I'm gonna show you the three main colors I have in mind. And so she wants um, like a light purple, a light pink, and like a baby blue. Um, so some nice soft colors and a silver. So I thought to myself, I can either do like a silver cell activator or I can do a white cell activator and use a silver boom gel. Um, or I can actually mix up silver paint, but I know that sometimes one of these colors is gonna be more dominant than the other. So the idea that I had was to use this beautiful, um, this is a prism pour sample, and it's, so it doesn't have a name yet, but it's a nice frosty icy blue. It's really pretty. It has a beautiful blue shimmer to it. Um, the camera is not fully picking that up. And then this is from the Glass Wings Bling It set. This is called Parisian Lily. It's a beautiful, beautiful soft pink. And this is mixed up a little thick, so I'm gonna thin it down a little bit with some Josonia and water. It's only like that because I've, I've had it mixed up a little while, so. The only bad thing about it being a little bit thick is when you go to blow it out, sometimes if it's too thick, it doesn't move. And then this is Chalcedony. This is also from that same set. So this is from the Bling It line. It's a beautiful, beautiful um, pale purple with kind of a blue shift. I also thinned this one down a little bit, but maybe not enough. So my thought was that we would use those colors and then do a puddle right underneath the cell activator of this metallic silver boom gel, which I've never used before. And um, my thought with doing that is it should interact with a white cell activator and kind of boom gel underneath the cell activator sometimes kind of follows the pattern of the cell activator. So it might look like we used silver and white, you know, and so we might get some of that beautiful silver lacing um, throughout. That's what I want to happen. Now, what you want to happen and what actually happens in the world of fluid art, especially when you're doing blooms and stuff, um, you know, that doesn't always happen, but that's what I want to happen. So I'm gonna bring my spinner and we're gonna give it a shot. I have a couple of tiles here so we can practice. I really want it to work the first time. Um, I mold these colors over in my head quite a bit before I took a chance. So I think I'm going to lay down the blue first, then the pink, and then the Chalcedony. I hope I'm saying that right. My silicone mat on my spinner is a little bit messy um, just because these little bits are hard to pick up sometimes. Um, but I like to use a silicone mat because if you have a good successful pour and you like the skins from all the fly off, you can save them and use them for something. So let's see how this goes. Let me get a K cup out of our Keurig in case I have a successful one I want to have. A place to put it. So I am, let's see, 
having some issues with my tripod and some of the light in here so bear with me we changed some of the bulbs out in this room and even though they're brighter they are causing there to be like shadows and stuff so I'm working on that but bear with me so I'm gonna use um, a little bit of pillow paint that I have in this little container and the, it's um, Glidden Premium <clears throat> in eggshell I usually mix my pillow paint into a smaller batch um, to help with bubbles and um, it really does help with bubbles I thought I just saw a paint booger in here and sorry I'm trying to make sure there's no little paint booger in there it's been so long since I've done um, well, it hasn't been terribly long, but it's been a little bit since I've done coasters. I feel like I'm kind of rusty at them. But it's our roots when you do blooms, right? Let me zoom you in a little bit. Nope, that didn't do a great job. Let me try. Hopefully we don't get the autofocus issues. But that way you can see me later the colors a little bit better. Okay, there we go. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blue. So the way I understood the request is that she wants something that's soft. So I'm trying to make sure we have soft colors without losing color. You know, when you use um, sparkly colors and all pigments in a pour, sometimes you really kind of need the the opacity that's in a regular paint but um, I wanted to try this first without introducing another color in the background so this is the Parisian Lily and when I at first I didn't think about having a nice pale purple color and then I was like what am I thinking I do have one and um, then I thought these colors would actually look really nice together so I feel like the angle of this is so weird. Sorry guys. I'm trying to make sure you can see a decent shot. Uh, I think I'm going to get a different tripod. So my tripod has a very short um, arm. So like where you want to film right over what you're doing. The only way to do that is if it's right underneath the tripod. And if you have something in a puppy pool, it's not right underneath your tripod, right? So you kind of have to angle it. So that's why it looks like it's at an angle because it is. And so I'm looking at one that has a little bit longer of an arm that will hopefully give us a better shot, like right above what we're doing, which will not make you guys feel like you're looking at something sideways. At least that's my hope. So I've been looking at one because um, I get a little frustrated with that like sideways view. I have a couple bubbles I'm popping here. My doggies are snoring. I'm sure y'all can't hear it, but in case you hear snoring, it's them. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, um, th it's Thursday night. I don't know what day you'll see this video, but it's Thursday night today, so tomorrow's Friday. That's always good. It's been kind of a busy week. All right, so we're going to put the boom gel on. I still have some bubbles, but we're going to go ahead and put our boom gel on. I'm going to put just a little puddle in the middle. Uh oh, that was kind of a big puddle. I don't want it to take over, but I do want the silver to be represented in there. So, and I just mixed up some cell activator yesterday and then I used almost all of it. So my cell activator is three parts Amsterdam titanium white to one, no, that's not true. 
it's three parts Australian Floetrol to one part titanium white from Amsterdam. And that's too much of it, actually. I'm almost out because I did a swipe yesterday with it and I used a lot of it. So I really should have made more. I'm used to making small batches of cell activator for like small pieces, but when you do swipes and you load it on your palette knife, you tend to use it a lot more. So I'm gonna blow this out with my world's smallest blower, which is kind of ideal for coasters. It's not ideal for a lot of other things, but it is ideal for coasters. So, but I'm a little rusty, so. Oh, that was not good. So other than that part right there, I did okay. I, I'm a little concerned about it being too white looking under here. So I'm gonna give it a second to come through. I was kind of concerned about using all light colors because you kind of need the contrast sometimes. So this may not this may not work, especially where I blew down into the pillow. Um, so, I don't know how well you can see that, but you can see if you look, um, I don't have a lot of contrast where we introduced that white cell activator. So I'm almost thinking it might work better if we did a silver cell activator and skipped the boom gel on the top. Um, so let's see, I, I want to give it a shot though, so there's some really I mean, there's some places where it's doing exactly what I wanted to. Right here, I don't know how well you can see that. Um, right here, the silver is kind of gathering in the cells with the cell activator, which is exactly what I thought it would do. But here, where I kind of blew too hard, it went down into the pillow paint, and so it's just like white on white. That's not exactly what I was going for. And everything I'm trying to do to move <laughs> this one corner is not going well either. So this one may not be a success for me. Um, let's see. What did I do with those tweezer thingies? Um... So, I, I like it, but I, I honestly don't think it's going to work. But let's spin it out and see. See, for me, that doesn't have enough contrast. I mean, for all I know, she might like it. But, and also, my bias around this is I tend to go for bright, bold, rich colors. So, sometimes... When pastel colors are involved, even though I like them, I may not be the greatest judge of character um, based on, you know, maybe this is something someone's looking for, maybe it's not. It's pretty. It's pretty. Like, no doubt about it, it's pretty. It's soft. It's, the autofocus is working against us. It's soft, you know, has some nice accent colors. Um, but I just feel like the white, it's like some of the color we're looking for got lost under the white cell activator. So I think we're going to try the silver cell activator and scrap the white on one and see if we get a different result. I happen to have silver cell activator made up, which I don't usually because I used it on something. So can't hurt to try. I mean, this is pretty. The, the bloom is nice. 
even the little pillow cells are kind of cool. It's just that the color is so faint because of how I blew it out. Plus, quite honestly, if you only use pigments in a pour, pigments are not opaque, you know? So they will look beautiful, but sometimes you need um, a color with a little more opacity in your bloom somewhere so that you don't have just a lot of semi-transparent color. The colors are beautiful. Like that blue really shows through and looks really nice. Um, so, you know, the colors are pretty. I think it's, it's pretty overall. Um, it's just not quite what I had in mind. So I'm gonna try another one. Let me know what you guys think, because maybe, maybe it's just my preference is so I'm so accustomed to deep colors that maybe I just um, am expecting it to be too rich, you know? Let me see if I can get it off of here and bring it up so you can see it without dropping it. This used to be so easy to get them off of here and for some reason they stick to that. Okay, let me zoom you out a little bit. Now, I don't have just the warm light on, so it's hard for you to see. Come on. The autofocus is always messing with me. And, like, I want it to autofocus most of the time, so I don't want to turn it off. But I hate it when it does that fuzzy thing. So you can see that the colors are really pretty and really soft and all that jazz. I have a bubble right here, but it's just not what I envisioned. But again, how often does that actually happen, you know? Still really pretty though. So let me pause you for a second, put another one down, and we'll go again. All right, I don't like to scrape this off because it can be used later, but it um, it can make it difficult to get the thing off the thing. So off it goes. Let's try this again. So the silver cell activator I have is Atelier Interactive Silver. If I don't have success soon, I'm gonna have to mix up more color, so there may be a part two to this video, hopefully. It will work this time though. This is a little bit thick, this cell activator. So the Atelier Interactive Metallics are thick. They're heavy body. I don't know if you can, you can't see that. I don't know if you can see the, see how long it takes for the stream. So ultimately you do get your bounce back, but it's, it's thick. So, it makes me a little, it's great for a swipe, but it makes me a little nervous to use it in a bloom because I'm afraid that it'll be so thick that the color won't move across the tile. But nothing beats a blank but a try, right? So tempted to put a little bit more color underneath that to give it a little bit of a backdrop of color because all of the colors we used are kind of the semi-transparent, so. Um, let me see here. Let's see, let's see. Um, you zoomed way out, and I might sound super loud because I'm standing right next to the phone on a stool because this is too high for me. Let's see, I can, I can add a little bit of like pastel blue boom gel at the bottom. I mean, that's not opaque, but that might give us a little color underneath what we're doing. Might be fun for giggles. Um, plus I've never used this color before, so that's also fun for giggles. This is pearlescent baby blue. Let 
didn't even check to see if it's open. Okay, it is. Pearlescent baby blue. Ooh, sometimes these bottles are so hard to squeeze. Okay, just put a little down there. And then I even thought about putting the silver at the bottom. And we're gonna put this blue prism pour on top of that. I love it, it's so pretty. And I'm gonna put the Parisian Lily on top of that. Where's my toothpick? I've had so many bubbles lately. I don't know what the problem is. And, you know, I use the same mix pretty much all the time. Some of it is from stirring and thinning down the paint and that kind of stuff. When, Because Joe Sonia has a lot of, it causes bubbles. It's so beautiful. So it's kind of worth it, but it definitely does add some bubbles to your mix. Um, but it is a wonderful gloss varnish and it is very cell reactive in the Bloom recipe. So I like it a lot. I don't wanna use all of this because if I don't like this one, what am I gonna try next, you know? All right. See if we have any glaring bubbles. Sorry if my head's in the way. It's not very clear. Zoom you in a little and then hope that we don't get autofocus jacked. Sorry, I bumped the tripod. All right. Pretty colors. Really nervous. Oh my gosh. I put way too much cell activator on here, on my uh, my little stick. It's like I forgot how small this was for a second. That looks too thick for me. I think it's going to get stuck when we blow it out. But when it works well, it works great on a bloom because it's very stretchy, I guess, for the lack of a better term. It has really good elasticity, so it holds its shape even when you stretch it and blow it out. Like that. See how it kind of held on as I pushed it to the limit. So that, in that regard, it did very well. There's just way too much of it right here. So I'm a little nervous about that. Um, we still have some white coming through from the pillow. So not completely different than the first one, but I do think this is closer to maybe what she is looking for, at least how I imagine it, right? But I do need to try to break the surface tension of some of this cell activator. So, I kind of messed that up right there. I mean, this part's okay, but I kind of, um, disrupted the cells right there. So all I'm doing is trying to break the surface tension to allow any cells that are still gonna come through in the center to come through. <clears throat> I love the silver lacing. It's very soft, very subtle. It's not quite as, um, it's like shimmering. Like you may not be able to tell, but there's really fine lacing right here, kind of going across 
those shimmery colors so it's a lot softer looking um, than the white. The white kind of covered up the color. The silver kind of creates a, a gentle sheet of lacing over the colors. So it's a lot more, I guess, cooperative with the color than the white was. I don't know if I'm explaining myself well. But if I had to pick between the two, I would say this one, this one did better. Um, they're still very soft looking, but the, a lot more color is showing this go around. So while I'm giving that a little bit to develop in the middle, um, let me remind you that there's discount codes in the description box below. Sometimes I forget to tell you guys. 20% uh, off for color art, anything on the color art website using Mandy1120, all uh, lowercase. And for boom gels, Australian flow, trawl, all that good stuff, uh, pixel paint designs, there's a 15% off code, which is all caps, Mandy15. And both of those and the links are below. Um, and then my Fluid Arts Friends Facebook group is below if you'd like to join, share your art. Really sweet group of people, very encouraging to each other. And our little group is growing. So you see where I broke the surface tension here in the middle? Um, it's still a little too much cell activator. But this is one of my favorite things about Atelier. Most of the time, if your consistency is right, even if you have kind of this river of cell activator, because it's a heavy body um, paint, it usually dries really nicely. Um, so it's not gonna move a whole lot. It's not gonna necessarily cause that weird river that sometimes I get with Amsterdam where it moves because there's too much in one place. So. You can kind of get away with a little bit too much there. So let's cover our corners and see how it spins out. I think this, in my mind, now I'm not in her mind, so I'm not sure what she's envisioning, but in my mind, when I think of the colors that she wanted and the soft, kind of girly, feminine, soft colors, I think this is a little bit more in line with what I envision. Um, obviously, I need to see what she thinks, but I I think of the two color choices, this one is definitely the one I prefer. Um, I don't know that I'll ever see them the same because I'm wanting the color to be like kablamo and soft colors don't kablamo all the time, you know? So let's spin it gently. Um, it's pretty. I wish you could see some of the detail in the lacing. You can see it a little bit, but it's, even where the white comes through, it's very pretty and soft. Oops, hitting the edge. So, I, I like it. This is a super long video for two coasters. So let me know what you guys think. I may do one more. I was going to say off camera because it's almost been 30 minutes already. Uh, I may do one more and then naturally if I don't record it, it'll be the best of all of them. But for the sake of time, I may do one more off camera and see if I can't make this one a friend, in case she does like it, then it'll be good. So seems like we have enough paint off. It's not really wiggling. When, we, when it wiggles, sometimes that means there's too much paint and it could crack or just dry kind of crazy. So let me bring you down so you can see this one close up. And then I will <laughs> cut down this super long video. But hopefully you enjoyed my experimenting journey um, along with me. I know for those of you who paint, you know what it's like to try something and try something that you have in your head and see if it works. 
If it doesn't work, you got to try again, and that's the reality. Not every time is it going to be a 15-minute painting, you know? So I just thought I'd take you guys on the journey with me. So let me bring you down so you can see it up close. All right, everybody. So here you can see a little bit closer how beautiful those colors really are. And I love that lacing that you get with the cell activator. And even the white is sparkly because of all the colors around it. So even the white that comes through kind of looks intentional. So I think these are a success. But I'd love to know what you think. Look at this part, this part right here, right? Make sure I don't touch it. Right there is my favorite part, right there. So let me know what you think. Do you think that this was a success? Um, was this at least enjoyable to watch the, the color experiment? Uh, anyway, I appreciate you guys so much. Um, stay healthy and safe. And uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Love that color combo right there. Um, and hopefully this will be a success. Otherwise, you might see me practicing again. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.